Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Your daily crop. Hope you like it away. Ah, oh, well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me. When you see my Jackie Quay, your friendly, freaky ass, a sweet grass, water, medicine woman, also Christy had a car, Chris Car, superstar, most beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, oh, oh you beautiful divine beings right here too. How grows it with you? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because this is like take two. I started off, I was moving this over, I did a little show and tell, this nut, okay? Got this walnut, a little girl at work, dropped this on my sample table, and I'm like, oh, a nut for a nut! Thank you! How'd you know? Anyway, so like, deja vu, I just said all that, and all of a sudden my camera went flipped and I hadn't hit record. <laughs> Oh, um, I'm like, why did my camera just shut right off? Well, oh, I just started and <laughs> didn't hit record. Uh, I just started all over again. Alrighty, here we grow. Here we grow. It's that. There we go. I didn't do, and that's where it cut off. I'm like, I didn't do my DC yesterday, and then the camera turned off. And I'm like, oh, I didn't hit record today. My PSW was here yesterday. Yeah, I had her straighten my hair, but then it was rainy yesterday, so we still got some frizz. That's fine. That's fine. And I just stayed in my bathrobe. All the live long day I did yesterday, I did. I was in my bathrobe all day. <laughs> I needed that rest. It was busy all last week. There was something. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then another again, then something Monday, and then my PSW was here yesterday for the Tuesday. So I'm just like, there's nothing else for this day. I'm relaxing. And uh, Monday, I got the call from the hospital. So I have my ultrasound. My ultrasound is tomorrow at noon, and I need to fast for six hours before. So there's other things. I came in. Okay, so I'm like, poof. Body is just so tired, so worn out, and I'm feeling so sad. Lots of things coming up. It's very concerning. My daughter on the YouTube, and, I, and then I'm feeling like, I don't want to show anybody these videos. These should not be out there. This is so inappropriate. I don't want to bring anybody's attention to it. I don't want them to see her like that. I don't want that. Should not be out there. No child should be out there like that. No parent should be allowing that. And the parent that won't allow that is the parent they have shut out, right? Because the one that will keep them safe and keep them from being... Well, you can't totally keep them, but we can equip them with things to recognize when they're being manipulated or used or things like that, right? And teach them to use their own minds, right? Believe in something or you fall for anything. So... I, I, I'm all about letting the children choose, but if they're not exposed to the different kinds of things to believe, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> My little one dreamed of Jesus, and I thought, well, I need to take them to the church. So they've had an example of, uh, of, a, of a Bible chapel church they've been to, and we've been to a Mormon church, so they've seen the those those kinds of examples of how they conduct themselves in there um so i'd like to educate them on that educate them about religion and spirituality and all of that and teach them how to right check in and check up right check in and check up and how to feel the truth we feel the truth we know when we hear the truth me, I get these truth tingles, I call them. It's all tingles all up and down my back. And then I know I'm hearing a truth. So we might not even know the truth, but we can also feel when we're being lied to, right? Or there is something off. And we need to trust those things. Those are our God's alerting reflexes. Our gar. I don't know. What is that for you? I don't know. How you love yourself it's how you teach others to love you. <gasps> Picture what it would be, what it would look like to be loved and appreciated by the world in just the manner you most desire. Channel this image as you move through your day. 63 is a 9. Now, hopefully that image is just 
as you are and how you were made, right? Not, not a persona, not a persona, but your genuine, authentic self. What would it be like to be loved and appreciated for your genuine, authentic self? Not for what you do, not for what you have, not for what you give, whatever, but just for being you, because you are. Open up to that. You're loved Im immeasurably, too, right? So here we go. Channel that image throughout your day. So, right? If we don't love ourselves, we're not going to allow that love in. We'll, we'll de deflect it. We'll self-sabotage, right? Someone will give us a compliment. We'll go, oh, no, well, you don't have to live with me. You know, because we let those other messages get in there. Oh, yeah, she's great, but you don't have to live with her. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are nice to me because they don't have to live with me, right? So do we take on those beliefs on ourselves and that poor little? We keep putting those poor littles through that. And if we've got littles watching us, what are they seeing? Right? They learn what they live. It's not just what we say. They're watching what we do. Mm, I don't know. What is that for you? <sighs> oh, how do you love yourself? Hmm? Not above or below anybody, but as part of this beautiful creation. A part of humanity. Oh, no. What's that for you? The totem just went through the floor there. Okay, the path that we're going along on with this totem. There we go. Right there we go. And we got a path on the bottom and the path on the top. The vision quest because we're seeking and finding. Okay, creator, who did you make me to be? I'm in your reflection, right? We're wonderful in divine rules, exuberantly reflecting divine originality. Oh, no, what's up for you? Weirdo. Okay, love you. <laughs> Be as weird as you want to be, right? Let your freak flag fly. That's your ability to respond, right? We can respond or we can react, right? We can catch our reactions and take that time to reflect and then respond, right? I don't know. What is that for you? Because as we know better, we can do better. Oh, no. How's that grow for you, right? Then we give away and then we, 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 we release because we can see what we accepted. And we, 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 releasing all that we're not all those things that we took on ourselves from those outside critics that became our inner critics all right and we're releasing those lovingly release those and knowing that we are all every human being made in the image and likeness of our creator i don't know what is that for you mm, mm, mm. what is that for you we could open up to that too we do not do anything on our own we do not do anything on our own. We do not save ourselves and none of that. Well, actually, maybe we can. We we participate in that because we got to turn around and open up to that. So we can make that choice to keep ourselves blocked off from healing and all of that. Or we can turn around and open up to that. That's an inside job, right? It's all that inside job. That healing is an inside job. And we need to open up to that. And we can go around closed off and we can use that as our badge or the honor or whatever. Like, I've been hurt. And we can try to be a martyr. Whatever that is. So let's confront that in that. Maybe maybe you're getting more from continuing to play that victim. Maybe you're getting more when you're harsh on that baby. Because then, hey, others got to do more work to try and pick you up, right? Are you taking advantage of others' kindness? Because you refuse to pick yourself up off the floor? Because you keep, you know, refuse to see yourself as a... <laughs> and the likeness of creator? I don't know. What is that for you? Because you refuse to release? You, ref you, ref you re refuse to... Let it go and let yourself grow. I don't know. We each need to confront that in ourselves. How do we, how are we continuing to stand in the way of our own healing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Love y'all. Let's confront that and release that. How do you love yourself? How are you standing in your own way? I don't know. Let's release that and grow today. Oh, okay. All right. Biggest heart hugs. Ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you just to be you, fully holy and true. Don't let this world miss out on this you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful, blessed day. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.